Hi, and welcome to this basic introduction to the Plexus plugin. To apply Plexus, you go to Effects, Robite, and then choose Plexus. Now you'll see these effects being added to the Effects stack in the Effects control panel. We'll go ahead and add a 3D camera to the composition. Plexus lets you create or import geometry, then modify its properties using effectors, and then finally, it renders them using points, lines, facets, and triangles. For a basic example, we'll go ahead and add a paths object, which as the name suggests, creates vertices and faces from masks applied to the layer. Masks, paths. So we'll go ahead and add a mask here to this layer. And you'll see the vertices being added to the layer, which are being rendered by the points renderer object. Now I'll go ahead and replicate these in 3D space. Now, if you turn off this renderer object, the points will no longer be rendered. So we have a pass object, which is creating the vertices, and a renderer object, which is rendering these vertices as points. Now we'll go ahead and add an effector. Let's add the noise effector, which can modify the various properties of the vertices. We'll add some noise by increasing the amplitude, which, as you can see, the vertex positions are changed by the effector. You can also apply the noise not just to the position, but also to the scale and color. If you want to turn off any object, just turn off that effect and stack, and they will no longer be applied to the plexus. Now these points look good, but we can add different types of render objects to create a lot of interesting things. For example, I can add the facets renderer to render the facets made, the made by the paths object. Or we can add the lines renderer object to create lines between these vertices. We'll get into all the details of each and every object in other tutorials, but this will give you a basic overview of how Plexus works. Now, you can also have multiple render objects. For example, you can have two points renderer objects and have varied point sizes. You can have more than one noise effector, where one controls position and another one controls the color, and so on. You can also have multiple geometry objects. For example, you can import geometry into Plexus by importing OBJ objects and import an OBJ sequence. Now the vertices are imported into Plexus and we can use them along with the other vertices we created earlier. You can group the geometry objects into various groups if necessary. For example, we'll put the path object in group 1 and the OBJ object into group 2. Now we'll set the noise effector to only affect the vertices in group 1. Now only group 1 vertices are being affected. Or we set it to group 2 and now only group two vertices are affected. So you can basically selectively control how each effector is applied. Same goes for the render objects. You can set it to render vertices from a single group or from all groups. So this gives you an overview of how Plexus works. Thanks for watching and have fun playing with Plexus.